Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to sketch the graph of logarithmic function of the form y equals a log of x minus h plus k to the base b with transformation. And this is the third part. I will put the link of the first and second part in the description box below. So for this third part, our b is greater than zero, but less than one. Before we jump into this example right here, let's have a review on the basics of logarithmic function. We remember that this logarithmic equation here is the inverse of exponential equation. And these are how we arrange the letters and variable in these two e equations. So the base is going to go here. And then this exponent x will be on this side of the logarithmic equation. And we have the y here. And we put the y over here on this side of the logarithmic equation. Now, we, uh, if we look at the arrow here, it goes back and forth. This means that if we want to change a logarithmic equation into exponential, we need to place all of these letters and variables into this form. And if we want an exponential to become a logarithmic equation, we are going to rearrange these three in this way, in this exact arrangement, so that we have, you can go back and forth. Okay, so we go over this um, problem right here. So we're supposed to graph this um, equation that we have here. The first step that we are going to do is to determine the asymptote and the locator point and sketch this on the graph. We remember that the locator point is not part of the graph. So I'm just gonna determine the asymptote and the locator point. Okay, so I determined the locator point by setting up the, the ones inside the parentheses equal to zero and solve for x. And then the locator point, again, remember we switch and keep, so that would be a positive four and negative one. So then part of this step is to sketch these two into this graph right here. So I'm gonna sketch the asymptote and the locator point. Okay, so we are now ready to move on to the second step. So the second step is to determine the equation to set up the table. So in order that we can determine the equation, we are going to cover the x, h, and k. So the equation would come out. Okay, so we are supposed to change this into its exponential form. So that would come out, this is the base, so one half raised to the power y is equal to x. And this is the equation that we're going to use in order to set up the table. So from the locator point, Okay, in order that we can um, set up the y, remember that since our a here is one, so I go ahead and write zero and negative one and then positive one. So that means this is going down. Okay, so then we are going to plug this into the equation. So then I can go ahead and write this as uh, one half raised to the power negative one, because that's the y. So that would be raised to the power negative one. Remember, if it's a negative one, we switch the position. So this would come out two over one, and this time around, it has an exponent of a positive one. So uh, once, we f once we have a negative exponent, you flip the position around, and it would come out a positive. So two over one is two. That means this is going to the right. And then I will do the rest of them here. The zero and the one will be plugged in there. Okay, now we're ready to sketch the graph. So what are we gonna do is from the locator point, so from this point, we go down one, and then we go to the right two. One and two, and this is the first dot. And then from the locator point, we're not going anywhere, so it's zero, but we go one right. So one right is right here, so I'm going to draw the dot here. And then from the locator point, we have, we go one up, 
and then 0.5 right, so halfway to the right. So these are the three points that would be needed in order that we can sketch the graph. We remember that when we sketch the graph, be sure that the other end does not touch the asymptote. It gets closer and closer to it, but will never touch it. So this is the graph of this equation right here. Now, please remember that this locator point is not part of the graph. So be sure that we erase that at the end. So then this is the um, graph of this equation right here. We can actually determine the domain for this. So our domain would be, again, this is like a wall or this is like a boundary. That means this graph cannot get through this boundary, which means that the x values would only be x greater than positive 4. So anything greater than 4, but 4 is not because, again, this graph will not touch this asymptote. So x is greater than 4. And then the range that we have here would be all real numbers that we can go up and it can go down. On the side, you will see the Desmos version of this graph. So this is the paper version of the graph. And on the left, you will see the Desmos version. You see that both of them are just the same graph. So pretty much this is the graph of this equation right here. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the uh, problem here. We have the first step. So the first step is to determine the asymptote and the locator point and sketch this on the graph. We remember that the um, locator point is not part of the graph. So I go ahead and set up the asymptote by setting this, the ones inside the parentheses equal to zero. Okay, so what are we gonna do next is we sketch these two, the asymptote and the locator point. Okay, we're ready to move on to the second step. In the second step, we're supposed to determine the equation to set up the table. In order that we can determine the equation, we're supposed to cover the H and we cover the K. So whatever's the left over, that's the equation that we're going to use. Okay, since we have a two in front of the log, we're going to divide both sides by negative two. Okay, so we're left with y over negative 2 is equal to log of x to the base 1 third. And we're going to use this equation. We're going to change this. We're going to transform this into its equivalent exponential form. And that would be 1 third raised to the power y over negative 2 is equal to x. And so this is the equation that we're going to use in order that we can um, fill the table in. So from the locator point, Okay, so that we can fill the y in, remember the a is 2, so 0 will be in the middle. Then we go to negative 2, and that would be a positive 2. So the y is, um, again, you can use other values for y, but I, I give you this as a trick so that it would the, we, can, we can make the math faster. So we go ahead and label this. Okay, we're ready to plug this in. So the negative two will be plugged in since that is the y. We plug it into this equation. So that would become one third raised to the power. That's a negative two over negative two. So I will use red color for the y that we plugged in over negative two. So the negative two was plugged in and we have a denominator of negative two. So this comes out one third raised to the power negative two divided by negative two is a positive one. So pretty much this is just one third, which is actually 0 0.33. And so that means we are going to the right. And then we, we do the rest of them. So we plug in the zero to the y, and then we plug in the two to the y, and then we solve for the x.
Okay, notice at the end here that is one third to the negative one because we have a positive two is the y and we have a negative two. So positive two divided by negative two is a positive one. And so that gives us three over one because we flip it to make it positive. And so three divided by one is three. And so we're ready to move on to the fourth step. Use the table of values that we determined here to, uh, in order that we can determine the rest of the points from the locator point. And then we sketch the graph. Remember that the locator point is not part of the graph. So in this problem right here, we go ahead and say, uh, from the locator point, we go down to one, two, and then we go to the right, 0 0.33. So halfway is 0 0.5. And so that 0 0.3 should be somewhere around here. So we approximated it to be somewhere there. And so the next one is from the locator point, we go zero, so we're not going anywhere, but we go one to the right. So I'm gonna go one to the right here. And then from the locator point, we go two up, one, two, and then three to the right, one, two, three. And this is where the other dot is gonna sit and I'm gonna connect this together. Again, be sure that it doesn't touch the um, asymptote. And so I go the other tail should go that way as well. So then we go ahead and please be sure that we erase the locator points. Again, the locator point is not part of the graph. So then we go ahead and determine the domain for this. So the domain, remember that again, this asymptote is like a wall. This graph cannot get through the wall. It can touch it can't touch it either. So then we go ahead and say that our domain would be x is greater than, which is negative five, and our range would be all real numbers. So that is represented as letter R. So this is the graph for this equation right here. Now on the side, you will see the Desmos version of this graph. You can see that the paper version and the Desmos version are just a match. So that means this R, this is how the graph is gonna look like for this um, equation right there. Did you get the same answer as this? Good. Perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.